Welcome to another video in the Getting Started with SAP S4HANA playlist. As explained before in this playlist, SAP Fury is an interface that allows us to connect to an SAP server from any web browser without the need to install any applications. In the last video, I showed you how to set up SAP Fury on Windows. And in the video today, I will show you with a live demo how to set up SAP Fury on Mac. If you are enjoying this playlist so far, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified when I publish new videos in the playlist. Also share it with your connections. And leave me a comment, tell me what else you want me to add to this playlist. I am almost done, so I've already explained how to set up SAP GUI, SAP Fury on Windows and the Mac, and how to get access to an SAP server. Then I have a couple more videos planned in the playlist, but I don't have a lot of other ideas in this playlist. So if you enjoy this playlist and you want me to continue, then leave me a comment, tell me what else you want me to add to the Getting Started with SAP s hana playlist. Before we start, there is one more thing I would like to share. I recently started providing one-to-one -one consulting sessions on my website. So if you would like to discuss privately with me about any topic, so whether you would like to talk about your career, if you have an interview, if you would like me to review your CV, or if you have a question about SAP, or you have an SAP project that's coming and you need some support, then do not hesitate to go to the link www.galalconsulting.com slash appointment there you are going to find my calendar and you can book any time that suits you now let's see how to set up SAP Fury on Mac Internal accounting entries and everything the, the SAP the business process the integration is for HANA my starting point for this demo is I have already subscribed to an SAP S4HANA 2023 server or maybe I'm working in a company and they have already given me the server details and then I would like to connect to this server using SAP Fury. So to connect to SAP Fury, we can use any web browser, but we need the website link that we are going to connect to. So this can either be provided to us by the person who owns the server, so either the company or the, com or the person who provided us with the testing server. So this link should be provided or we can find it from SAP GUI by opening SAP GUI as you see here and then going to the transaction code slash UI2 slash FLP. So as you see, I already have it in my favorites or, or we can also insert it here in the transaction code box, but then you have to insert slash in before the transaction. Any transaction code in SAP that starts with a slash, we must add slash in before to open this transaction. So here I have slash in slash UI2 slash FLP. I have already explained this link or this transaction a lot of times. So in order to remember this transaction code, you need to understand what it means. So we have slash UI2, which is user interface two, and then slash FLP, which is Fury Launchpad. So this is slash user interface two, slash Fury Launchpad. It's very easy to remember. Then press enter, and this will open the default browser you have on the device, and we'll try to connect to this link, which is configured in the SAP server. Now I'm getting this message that Safari cannot find the server. This means that I have not yet added this link to the hostess file on this device. In order to connect to this link, we have to allow it in the hostess file. To edit the hostess file in MacBook, it is very similar to what we do in Windows, but we cannot edit it manually. So in this case, we have to use the terminal. So now open the terminal, and I'm going to use the nano text editor to edit the hostess file. To do so, we insert sudo space nano space and then we insert the file location. The hosts file is located in etc slash hosts. This is the same command you can use on any MacBook. So the hosts file is always located in the same place. So the order is sudo space nano space slash etc slash hosts. And then press enter. And you will be asked to insert the password of the MacBook. Now while inserting the password, you will find that this cursor here is not moving at all. And this is completely normal. So just insert the password, then press enter. And this is our hostess file. So now here I have multiple IP addresses that I'm allowing the system to connect to. And I need to add our SAP Fury link. So first of all, we go to the end of the file. And here, for example, I'm going to add a title to, what the, to the IP that I'm going to insert. So this way I can understand why I added this line. So here I'm going to insert AG SAP S4 HANA access. So this is for my SAP S4HANA 2023 server access. I have multiple subscribers who already started using the system and all of them, they have to do the same step in order to start using SAP Fury on their devices. 
So now I added this line and then I will press enter. And here we need to insert the IP address and the link that we want to allow. So first we start by inserting the application server IP. So this is the IP address that was provided by the server provider and that we used to set up the connection in SCP GUI before. So in my case, let's say for example, this is 123.123.123.123 and then insert space. And here we need to copy a part of the link that we are trying to connect to for SCP Fury. So if I go back here to my browser, and here's the link that we are trying to open. So I'm going to copy this part. And we insert it here. So this is what we need to insert in order to allow connecting to SCP Fury. Once we are done, we press on Control O, and this will overwrite the host's file. So you'll get this message that you see here. So just press Enter and this will overlay the file, and then you press on Control X to exit the terminal, and then now we can try connecting to SCP Fury again. So we can either reload this page, or we can go back to SCP GUI and open again the same transaction, slash UI2 slash FLP, and if we do so, now we get this message. This connection is not private, this is completely normal, so all you need to do is to click on show more details, and here click on visit this website. And then we are connected to SCP Fury. So I'm going to insert the user ID and the password. And then we are connected to the SCP server through SCP Fury. You see, this was very easy. Remember that all of this is going to work only if SCP Fury is actually configured and active on the SCP server. So before subscribing to any SCP server access service, you need to confirm with the server provider that SCP Fury is available. In my case, for example, for AG SCP S4HAN 2023 access that I provide to anyone who is interested, we do have SCP Fury that's activated, and also you can have any rules you want to open any application to test all the processes as you want. Now we know how to set up SCP Fury on MacBook, and in the previous videos in the playlist, I showed you how to download and install SCP GUI on Windows and the Mac, and also how to set up SCP Fury on Windows. So this is it for the interfaces. Now we have access to an SCP S4HANA server and we know how to access it from SCP GUI or SCP Fury. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to modify your user settings to match your preferences. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I would really appreciate it if you share the video with your connections. We need all the support we can get. If you would like to book a private appointment with me to discuss any topic or if you would like to subscribe to an SCP S4HANA 2023 server, then you can go to my website, www.galalconsulting.com, and you are going to find all the details there. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again soon.